Hello friends, I am Sanjay Gupta. In this video, I am going to discuss about virtual destructors used in C++. Before starting, you can note my information which includes my app, books and YouTube channel. So coming on to the topic which is virtual destructor. So first point says base class pointer can store address of base class object as well as address of derived class object. So uh, uh, if we declare base class pointer, it is capable to hold address of base class as well as derived class. Uh, when we sorry, when base class pointer points to base class object, then both constructor and destructor work properly. But when base class pointer points to derived class object, then constructors of both classes are called, but destructor for only base class is called. So this is a problem and this problem is similar to virtual function because compiler works according to the type of pointer. So to understand the working of virtual function, you can watch my video related to that topic. Uh, so to resolve this problem, we must declare destructor of base class as virtual destructor. So you have to uh, declare base class destructor as virtual so that uh, both base and derived class destructors will be executed. So we have to understand this uh, scenario with the help of an example. So first I am going to explain uh, an example which is not implementing virtual destructor. So you can see first class A contains a destructor and a constructor. It is inherited by B class which also defines a constructor and destructor. So definition of classes are uh, quite simple. Now in main function you can see that two pointers are created one for uh, base class and one for derived class. So base class pointer is allocating memory for derived class object and derived class pointer is also allocating memory for derived class object. So when derived class object is created, so constructor of derived class and constructor of base class will be executed. Again uh, object of derived class is created. So again constructor and uh, sorry constructor of base and derived classes are executed. So you can see the output these two statements created because of this object creation and these two statements are printed because of this object creation. Now delete p1. So delete is used to delete dynamic allocated memory. So it is deleting p1. So p1 is of uh, base type. So it will only invoke destructor of base class. So uh, it is so because compiler works ac according to that according to the type of pointer. So p1 is of base class type. So only base class destructor will be executed. Then delete p2. So p2 is of derived class. So first it will call derived class destructor and then base class destructor. So this statement is creating a problem. It is not calling uh, destructor of derived class. So to resolve this problem, we have to implement this program with the help of virtual destructor. So the uh, pre program which I have explained right now is modified with the help of virtual keyword. So you can see that base class destructor is implemented using virtual keyword rest of the definition of both classes are same. Main function is also same. Uh, P1 is of base class which is pointing to derived class object. P2 is of derived class pointer or pointing to derived class object. So for first object creation constructor will be called. Then second object creation again constructor will be called. Now delete P1. So uh, compiler will call base class destructor because P1 is of base class type. But in base class we have declared destructor as virtual. So virtual is responsible for checking uh, address which is assigned into P1. So P1 is containing address of B means derived class object. So first derived class destructor will be executed and then base class destructor will be executed. Then delete P2. So P2 is of derived type. So it will call derived class destructor first and then base class destructor. So friends, uh, I hope you have understood the concept. If we are assigning address of derived class object into base class pointer, then compiler always focuses upon base class. To uh, transfer control from base class to derived class, we have to use a virtual keyword in base class functions or destructors. So 
uh, this is all about virtual destructor to understand this concept well uh, first uh, study or watch my video based on virtual function then uh, again watch this video so that you can understand the working of virtual keyword so virtual functions and virtual destructors are available we cannot implement virtual constructors thank you for watching this video